Hey everybody, welcome back. Hope you are doing good. Let's continue the revision series. In this video, we are going to discuss questions on the dictionary. All right then, let's check out some of the sample papers for the current session. Here is question number 7 which is based on dictionary. Let's read it. Which statement will not raise an exception? Here is the first dictionary and we have the second dictionary. There are four options in which we are applying some operators on both the dictionaries. In the first option we can see we have less than equals to operator. From six different relational operator we can only use not equal to relational operator as well as equal to relational operator on dictionary. Other than that we cannot use any relational operator on the dictionary. That's why this statement will raise an exception. Moving ahead to the second option D1 plus D2. This statement also will raise an exception because we cannot use this concatenation operator on dictionary. We can use in case of list, tuple or string but in case of dictionary it doesn't work. Moving ahead to the next statement as we discuss we can use this relational operator not equal to as well as equal to. That's why this will not raise an exception. It means this statement is correct. Here is the correct choice. But let's check out the last one too. Here we are applying membership operator in on both the dictionary. This also will raise an exception. This is because we cannot check two dictionaries using in operator. We can check the existence of key in dictionary then it will be correct. Dictionary is different from other data type. So make sure you are clear with all the concepts of dictionary. In this way we got the correct choice that is nothing but C. Alright, here is one more set of the sample paper for the current session. Let's check out the questions on dictionary. Here is a question number 3. We need to predict the output of the following code. Here is one dictionary and we are applying pop item on the dictionary D. The result of this method we are storing in a variable D2 and that we are printing. Hope you know the usage of pop item method. We already know the pop method which deletes the item from the dictionary but here we need to mention key. When we apply pop method on the list it deletes the last item but in case of dictionary the key we need to mention. That particular key value pair will get deleted. That's why we have another arrangement that is nothing but pop item. It will delete the last element from the dictionary. And it returns that last element. That's why we could get last element in the variable D2. It is nothing but 5, 6. That's why the correct option is B. In the same paper, we have one more question based on dictionary. Let's check out. Here is question number 6. There are two dictionaries. First is dictionary fruit and the second one is dictionary vegetable. Let's read further which statement will merge the content of both the dictionaries. We know in case of dictionary, we use update method to merge the dictionary. Look at the options. We have the correct choice in the option A. Don't forget to go through other options too. In B, we are using plus. It is not allowed in case of dictionary. We don't have add method also and there is no method like merge. That's why the correct choice is nothing but A. Followed by 6th question, we have one more question based on dictionary. That is nothing but 7th in which we need to predict the output of the following code. Read the code carefully and if you can do it yourself, pause the video and give it a try. Hope you got the correct output. Let's work out together. Here is the dry run table. Let's understand this code in short. Here is one dictionary with some elements. This is an empty string. Using for loop, we are iterating over the dictionary. By default, we iterate over key. So I will hold the keys. Let's come inside the for loop. With the dictionary and key, we will be getting the values for that particular key. Look at the values. They are of integer type. That's why using string function, we are converting it to string. And that value will get concatenated with the previous value of the string, which is initially empty. Even we are concatenating empty string at the end. With the next statement, we are creating a new string by removing the last character of the st1 string. And in the final print statement, what we are doing? We are reversing the st2 string. Alright then, let's check out the values in the individual pass. In the pass one, the key will be a. So d1 of a is nothing but 10. It will get concatenated with the empty string followed by that empty string again. Finally, we will get this string 10. 
and in st2 we are removing the last character of the st1 so after removing the last character we are getting 1 let's move ahead to the second pass now the value of i will be the second key that is nothing but b the corresponding value is 2 which will get concatenated to the previous string previous string is 1 0 now the string will get updated as 102 again removing the last character of the string we will be getting 10 in the same way we will be proceeding to the third pass now the key will be c look at the corresponding value of that key it is nothing but 3 previous string is 102 so the final string will be 1023 again let's remove the last character st2 will be 102 in this way loop got over because we have only three elements in the dictionary using slicing we are trying to reverse this string it means we will get 201 so this is the final output of this code 201 hope you got this explanation and you also got the same output let's scroll down and check whether we have some more questions based on dictionary all right we got one more question it is a theory question we need to tell the difference between set default and the update function with the help of example hope you are familiar with both the methods if not let's check out the answer in this way you can write the answer first you will write the working of the method followed by one example set default method inserts new key value pair if it doesn't exist in the dictionary but what if already key exists then it will do nothing what this function returns if key already present in the dictionary it will return the existing value of that key otherwise it inserts the key with the value and returns it let's try to understand the working of it with one example look at one dictionary you can give any example of your choice using set default method we are trying to insert one key value pair but look at the dictionary already key exists if key exists it returns the existing value of that key existing value of that key is nothing but 15 but what if the key doesn't exist then this key value pair will get added to the dictionary and the value will get printed so when we will print the dictionary look at the dictionary this key value pair got inserted in the dictionary but for this key value pair already key exists that's why there is no change in the dictionary so that was about set default it will add the key value pair if key doesn't exist in the dictionary then what about update method it merge two dictionaries look at the simple example this is dictionary 1 and here is dictionary 2 dictionary 2 will get merged with the dictionary 1 and the changes will happen in the dictionary 1 Note down this important point, if already key exists in the original dictionary, value will get overwritten. Look at the output, when we will print the dictionary, name is as it is, but age is nothing but 20. And here is the third element. Wow, in this sample paper, there are lot of questions based on dictionary. Look at this 23rd question, this is also based on dictionary. Let's read it. There is one dictionary. We need to tell what will be the output of the following Python statement. First is list of my dictionary. When we pass dictionary to the list, it gives a list of keys. It means it will contain only list of keys. So this is the first key. Here is the second key and here is the third one. So this will be the output of this list of my dictionary now look at the second statement we know with this separator we join the elements of the iterable but by default dictionary iterate over keys it means keys will get joined with this separator star and it returns the result in the form of string so this is the first key then we will have star after that here is the second key followed by star and here is the third key so this will be the output of the second statement star will get joined with the keys of the dictionary and it will be in the form of string all right now here is the sample paper issued by the cbsc for the current session let's check out the questions in this sample paper too so we got one question it is the seventh question let's read it there is one dictionary we need to tell which statement will raise an exception. Look at the first option. We are using get method and here is the name of the key. 
गेट मेथड रिटर्न द वैल्यू फॉर द करस्पॉन्डिंग की इफ की एग्जिस्ट एंड लुक एट द डिक्शनरी ऑरेंज की एग्जिस्ट दैट्स वाई दिस स्टेटमेंट विल नॉट रेज एन एक्सेप्शन दिस इज अ करेक्ट स्टेटमेंट मूविंग अहेड टू द नेक्स्ट वन वेन वी वॉन्ट टू एक्सेस वैल्यू फॉर द करस्पॉन्डिंग की वी नीड टू राइट द नेम ऑफ द डिक्शनरी एंड इन साइड द स्क्वेर ब्रैकेट वी मेन्शन की बट लुक एट द की हियर दिस इज नॉट अ की इन द डिक्शनरी दिस एप्पल एंड बनाना आर टू सेपरेट कीज इट्स नॉट अ सिंगल की वी कैन नॉट मेन्शन टू सेपरेट की लाइक दिस सो एक्चुअली दिस स्टेटमेंट विल रेज एन एक्सेप्शन इट मीन्स बी इज द करेक्ट चॉइस फॉर दिस क्वेश्चन बट लेट्स चेक द रिमेनिंग ऑप्शन इन द ऑप्शन सी वी आर ट्राइंग टू अपडेट द वैल्यू ऑफ द की एप्पल एप्पल एक्जिस्ट इन द डिक्शनरी ट्वेंटी विल गेट अपडेटेड सो दिस इज द करेक्ट स्टेटमेंट इट विल नॉट रेज एन एक्सेप्शन वॉट अबाउट द लास्ट स्टेटमेंट वी आर पासिंग डिक्शनरी टू द स्ट्रिंग फंक्शन इट मीन्स वी आर कन्वर्टिंग द डिक्शनरी टू स्ट्रिंग दिस इज ऑल्सो वैलिड स्टेटमेंट इट विल नॉट रेज एन एक्सेप्शन सो आउट ऑफ दिस फोर ऑप्शन B will raise an exception. We need to write a single key, not like this. Let's proceed in the same sample paper and check out for more questions on dictionary. Here is a question number thirty-one. Here we need to predict the output of the following code. Read the code carefully, and if you can try it yourself, pause the video. All right, let's try to understand the code in short. Here is one dictionary, and there is one empty string. Using for loop, we are iterating over the dictionary. By default, we iterate over key, so it will take the keys. With D of key, we are trying to access the values for the particular key. And look at the code; they are of integer data type. That's why using str function, we are converting it to string and concatenating at the red symbol as well as backslash n. Hope you know what is backslash n. It's an escape sequence character which represent a new line character all right outside the loop we are removing the last character of the string and printing it similar type of question we have already discussed but note here this statement is outside of the loop hope you understood the code now let's work out with the dry run table all right in the past one the key will be apple and its corresponding value is nothing but 15 So fifteen will get concatenated with the at the rate symbol, and using new line character, we will come in the next line. So here is the output of the first pass. In the second pass, the key will be banana. The corresponding value of the key is seven. Already the string is fifteen at the rate symbol, and we have moved to the new line. Now we will get seven at the rate. Again using backslash n, we will move to the next line. Here is the pass three. The key is cherry. Look at the corresponding value. It's nine. We are already in the new line. That's why we will get nine at the red symbol. And using backslash n, we move to the new line. So these are the values of the third pass. Loop got over. Now look at this statement. We are removing the last character of the string. What is the last character? This new line character. This will get removed. it means what will be string to now when we will print it we will get 15 at the rate 7 at the rate 9 at the rate because this last character means new line character got removed using that slicing concept so here is the output of this program hope you understood this explanation too all right we are in the vs code with the same program let me execute and show you the output Here is the output of this program. There are lot of questions from the previous year sample papers as well as from the board papers are covered in this video. So make sure you will go through this video and check out all these questions. Then all the concept related to dictionary will get cleared. In case of any doubt let me know in the comments. So with that note let's wind up today's video. We covered all four data types string, list, tuple and dictionary. In the next video we will discuss user defined functions so stay tuned for upcoming videos